My first solve was a 616 with 6 and L as my cube shape. And I traced even, so pretty much I am going to move this 6 over so that I can pretty much slice away this pair and solve scallop kite like this. Next, I have a really nice 1 slice CO into a 4 slice EO. And that gives me a CP skip into just adjacent opposite. So a really easy solve, 18 slices and 2.92 SPS, which is, I guess, slightly below average, but, you know, 6.1 is a nice solve. 13. Yes. My second solve was a 719 with right 4, 2 in pair as my cube shape. And I traced even, so pretty much I'm just going to solve scalp scalp normally. So pretty much what I did was I rotated and just solved scalp scalp to the front like this. Although, um, I feel like what might have been a better solution would be just to do a 5 on top like this. Which would have saved me, you know, a few moves I guess, sort of. Rather than doing like a 6 and a negative 1, I could have just done um, just a 5. Although, this ended up still being executed pretty quickly. Uh, next, I have this 2 slice CO, which I did like this, into 3-3. Three, three. And here, um, I have this JJ into WW, which I solve with this out like that. It's pretty much just like adjacent adjacent cancelling into HH. Um, so, yeah, 719, 23 slices, and 3.2 SPS, which is pretty good solve. Yes. My third solve of the average was a 795 with shield scallop as my cube shape and I traced odd. So pretty much I'm just going to align the shield like this, move the scalp over, and solve scalp scallop into the back like this. Next I have this pretty nice 2 slice CO to 3 3 for EO. And here my, um, my case here is NV and the previous time I'm just going to do NN into a U per my bottom. Which I usually just solve with adjacent adjacent twice. I know there's an alpha red, but I don't even use it. So, regardless, it was a 795 with 24 slices and like 3.02 SPS, which I guess, you know, it's alright. So, So my fourth solve was a 608, my cube shape was pawn kite, and I traced odd. And so first of all I held the orange on front, and um, I'm going to solve this in sort of a weird way, but pretty much I'm going to move this kite over, and I can just solve scalp kite into the front, or kite scallop I guess, like this. Next I have a CO skip, which is pretty lucky, into a really easy EO. And here I have um, TF, and I might have like paused or locked up a little bit here, I can't remember, I just know I made some sort of mistake here. Um, but pretty much I just did JJ into the good U-perms. Although, at least in my opinion, I think what it would have been better was to align, misalign both layers and get these U-perms, which I personally think just flows a bit more nicely. Um, but instead of doing that, I did this and got those U-perms. But yeah, I feel like the other U-perms, the other, you know, good U-perms alg is just a little bit smoother and faster to execute, but it was still a 608, which is pretty good. 18 slices and 2.96 SPS, which definitely isn't the best, but you know, I'm not complaining because it was still a really nice solve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my last solve of the uh, 648 average was a 564 with a cube shape of muffin right fist and I traced odds so pretty much I'm just going to solve shield fist like this and solve it into the back kind of like this.
Next, I have a two slice CO to a pretty standard CO. EO, sorry. Um, next, um, I'm left with really easy case for PVL. It's just NJ. Pretty much, I'm just going to solve it like this. U prime D2 and finish the solve. So although it wasn't full step and it did have you know really good luck, especially uh, with that UP skip, I executed really well on it. It was 19 slices and like 3.37 SPS, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, that ended up giving me the 648 average, which is the first sub 6.5 average of daily sub sevens. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this seventh episode of daily sub sevens. We've been going for a week now. And let me know if you still want me to keep doing this. I know some of you have said that you want me to do other events, like something similar to Daily Sub 7s, but for like 3x3, things like that. So I'll consider that. And just let me know if you want me to keep doing the Daily Sub 7s or not. I might even make like a community post with a poll or something. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but other than that, also, um, part of why I also want to stop doing Daily Sub 7s is because I've been doing so much Square One lately that like a few of my pieces have been breaking. If you've followed me on Facebook. If you're my friend on Facebook, you'd know that I've been breaking a lot of pieces. Actually, I have my Pro Shop square on here with two broken corners and some bent pieces here, if you can see. And so, yeah, that might be some sort of sign that will tell me to, like, not do as much square one as I am. But, like, I really enjoy the event. But, you know, I'll, I'll stop rambling, so... That's really all I have to say guys, um, once again just tell me if you want me to keep doing the series or if you want me to start doing other events or just something else uh, with videos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.